This is the live wire that was put in the not notarization that I took it off of right here. That the real original copy was made on this. I just highlighted it in pink. Uh, the, it's original pencil sketching with this being the wiring. LAPD officers not only drugged me six times illegally, but gave me a false mental health history with no background whatsoever my entire life. Um, what they did was give it to me because they planted a unlicensed device in my home that not only communicated my phone lines, including 911 with witness therapist Julie Johnson for Tarzana Treatment Center, me nearly losing my leg due to crimes against humanity. West Valley PD is involved with crimes of torture as they had secret meetings held with uh, HOA management at 18620 Hatteras Street, Tarzana, California, 91356, including with residents and management, police officers conducted six kidnappings, illegal druggings, and one attempted murder, with the sergeant promising on a 15-minute recording. Hutchinson was there. As the recording promised, she would attend the hospital with me, all of you. That's when I nearly got killed as I was suffocated with a EMT jacket. As you can see, this is the crime that they committed. Gang stalking with states, unconstitutional surveillance, which the device and camera that they planted, and by federal agents and local law enforcement. Involvement, exactly what it says here. This will be turned into FDA investigations unit on LAPD and criminal kidnapping and attempted murder charges will be placed on them with the civil lawsuit as well. These cops are criminals and will be held for life sentences for their actions. They're piece of shit pigs that will be suffering. Now, this is proof of the false mental health history. I have no mental health history my entire life till after the date of the FCC device found in my home, December 2015. As what it states here, you believe that the police planted a transmitter device in your home deploying unpredictable behavior yeah that's because two days before i was punched in the face and arrested for it because police were scared i was getting too close to get them busted i didn't fight back and got arrested all on video camera evidence this is proving that uh this transmitting device is right here notarized in real and you can find it under lowercase letters m-a-r-k-s-h-a-l-l-i-t S-H-A-L-L-I at Google Plus where the devices, where pictures were taken and put on that website along with the camera. Thank you very much. My name is Mark Schott. This is going YouTube as it was sent to FDA so they can uh, investigate the legal drugging and criminal activity. And this is exactly what they did. And as you can see, your comments were submitted success successfully. Now you'll be getting this device's info. As it is a Samsung Galaxy E tablet. Now you will get the serial numbers and license numbers of this device. So a complete and thorough investigation could be ran on these pigs. And here goes the device's info and all you need. That you know where it went. And it went through Shallot Wi-Fi. 818-654. 6955 with Spectrum and AT&T, both providers under the same phone number. Just for the record. Now we're going to make this a little bit bigger because we want you to see it. Very good. Residents uh, will be filed charges of attempted murder on the residents as well. Um, I do have a claim with Farmers Insurance with the statement of uh, video uh, uh, audio taped and transcripts were given to me, which you will be seeing next. Criminal charges will be placed on everybody involved.
Now, I do want to state for the record, an emergency vehicle did pull up here. As it saw, I was reporting. It parked right in front of my window. It went through apartment 110 parking lot camera and speeded out the parking lot going 70 miles per hour. Uh, as it raced onto the street and took off that way towards Hatteras and Reseda Boulevard approximately 20 minutes ago. Um, that's because officers uh, called them to come wait here to try to entrap me in another false arrest. And they were going to kidnap me and drug me again. And we're going to find out why that vehicle came, who called his cell phone number. It was Armenian male, um, about 5'8 in height, um, not muscular build, but a stocky build. Uh, short hair, close to bald, in his early 40s to mid 40s. Sus suspects will be taken into custody, police officers as, as well. Now, you did get this uh, device's info. As this will be emailed to the Red Cross, including the FDA Investigations Unit. And now for the transcripts. Of proof of the crimes of kidnapping and torture by police officers. As they're inhumane and crimes to a disabled person can carry a life sentence if torture is used. It was a four year torture facilitated by police officers at 18620 Heller Street, Tarzana, California, 91356. I do have witnesses for not only uh, the meetings. But everything else, including the, the suspects being arrested and used as informants to hack the phone line of 818-654-6955. Ford uh, Focus Silver is another suspect involved that just left up apartment. And he does have a connected camera to West Valley PD as well, by the way, for the record. This will be placed all over social media in about two minutes. These uh, suspects and officers committed hate crimes to Mark Shell as well that I do want reported with the FBI. And this is after they threatened to plant my DNA in a crime scene. Including drugs in my home. And setting me up if I did not return the FCC device. Suspect Ronnie Glusa, Gluska, living in the home, was caught with six cell phones. As he has no job, what he was doing was working for the police in hacking me and being in my home doing it, which was facilitating the torture. Now his, uh, all his phone number information will be given to you before we go forward. And here it goes. That's his name, Ronnie Gluska. Now the first top one is the iPhone. And that's all his info on the iPhone. And then the six other phones that were caught on him. There's SIM card serial numbers right there. As you can see, they're all different phone carriers. They are making my phone hot right now by hacking the, the line. Just to state it as evidence. Thank you very much. Now let's finish this out.
This is a half an hour recording, but there's five hours of total recording, which is crimes in the thousands for four years of torture, illegal druggings and poisonings, and much, much more by LAPD officers, West Valley PD, including attempted murder charges. They will be prosecuted and remanded into custody. They will go into protective custody because they are cowards and will not go to a mainline jail because they will be Bubba's biatch. Now, they left the LLI on this at Google Plus so you can see the FCC device. I'm going to add that and signature it right now. This also is another suspect. He's number two involves a uh, brother, brother-in-law, just to let you know. And he came to hack us as well. And I believe that's why the phone turned on. We have plenty of evidence on that, that family. Don't worry about it. We have enough to send them up Shakes Creek for the rest of their lives. They'll never see daylight when I'm done with them. Plus, I'm going to...